And if you're spending your hard-earned cash on multivitamins, you might as well flush your coins down the loo too. Researchers from Northwestern University looked at hundreds of studies done on the effects of dietary supplements and found absolutely no clear what health benefits. While important ah, ah. during pregnancy and for treating vitamin deficiencies, if you're a regular Joe, the researchers say it's probably better putting those pennies towards a gym membership. Or a lovely orange. Oh. I don't think I can stop taking them. I don't want to go to multivitamin rehab again. <laughs> yeah. I barely made it out of there. <laughs> Look, I I used to think that multivitamins were all just nonsense, that you were just mm. getting sold some sort of fancy snake oil. But we yeah. actually had a guest on the show a while back, Dr Julia Rutledge, and she has done a lot, a lot, a lot of research into how different multinutrients mm. can really improve your mental health. Um, her best advice, because, I mean, all multivitamins are different, but her best advice at the time was look for a broad spectrum, really high quality multivitamin, and that might do good things for your mood. I was like, yes, please, I've got anxiety and depression, give me whatever I can get. And I swear, it's helped. So if you don't believe in multivitamins, come at me, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good at like having good intentions and like buying the fish oil and the collagen mm. powder, and then it just sits in my pantry after the first week of taking it. Yeah, you, yeah. Do, you do wonder where does all the fish oil go? Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I found a big batch down the back of the sink. Um, does it go off? Yes. yes. Oh, okay, because my sweat's gotten a bit stronger smelling. Oh, probably fine. Yeah, okay, so. well, Josh, you need to take that out of there. You need to. Declutter your life, girlfriend.